Welcome back to Ferris Sports Update. Time to check in with the Ferris State track and field team and joined by head coach Jared Kelsch. Jared, first of all, welcome to the show. Thanks, Rob. Already the indoor season uh, well underway. A couple meets here early on. Uh, just uh, talk about how the indoor season has went so far. Yeah, um, so far so good. Um, you know, we're happy with where we're at this early in the season. Um, we went down to Hillsdale um, the week before school started and got an opportunity to run on a 200-meter track, which is uh, the length of the track that will our conference meet will be held on in February. Uh, and then the, just this past weekend, we went to Grand Valley State and got on a 300-meter track. So uh, lots of great times. Um, you know, hit a couple of national provisional qualifiers, had uh, quite a few PRs. So um, for the second meet of the year, we're very excited with where we're at. We're here early on. Obviously, uh, some of the cross-country kids uh, had that transition period from cross-country season uh, through the training period uh, in, into the indoor track season. Yeah, we had a couple of our kids um, kind of train through a week or two of uh, the cross country season once it was over and then moved it, uh, into running December. Um, you know, we, we try to use the fitness from the cross season to run a couple of fast times. So, um, you know, as long as our kids are feeling good and, and want to do that, um, we'll let them go a few weeks before we give them a break. And, and, you know, pretty much everybody else, we try to give a little bit of downtime and let them recharge the batteries for the indoor season, um, especially with the change in weather from the fall to, to winter. So. Um, you know, it's, it turns out well. We usually have a couple of kids perform well at that early December meet. So As we go to some of the highlights this past week. The Grand Valley State Open uh, down in Allendale. Uh, just talk about what were what, what were some of the big performances uh, here for your team? Uh, yeah, we had a couple of great performances. Um, Cody Stillwell threw the shot and uh, I think PR'd by uh, foot. Um, so he's national provisional qualifier. Molly Emmerich. Um, was a national provisional qualifier in the 800, um, ran a lifetime best by two seconds. Um, so we're very, very excited. Um, you know, the way our, our relay shaped up, uh, we had a lot of great kids in the 4x4, four four, um, had a couple of distance kids run some P season PRs, um, and our sprinters and hurdlers are, are really starting to come along, able to get some early season hurdle work in, and um, with this great weather, we've been able to get outside and get some quality workouts in. So. Had 18 uh, top 10 finishes, I think, uh, here in this competition. Uh, talk about some of the, the competition you faced and who were some of the other schools that took part. Uh, yeah, there was quite a few schools. Um, you know, we had Grand Valley, Northwood, um, a lot of our conference schools, which it's always great to be able to go up against those guys, especially early in the year. Um, you kind of get a, a little bit of, you know, where they're at, um, what we need to adjust moving forward if we want to be competitive in specific events. So um, it's, it's great when you get to see the conference schools and, um, you know, we're, we're close with, with the meets we travel to, so we, we you know, usually have quite a good fan base. Um, so that's always helpful for our athletes as well and kind of motivates our team to, to keep pushing. Here after a, a couple meets, what do you see as some of the, the strengths in terms of some of the, uh, the event areas for the Bulldogs? Uh, I would definitely say our uh, middle distance, um, distance squad is, uh, you know, doing very well. Um, our throws are really starting to, to come around, especially this early in the season. Um, you know, we're still in a phase where we're putting in a lot of work because it's January, so um, to have that many PRs at an early meet, um, same with our sprinters, is, is just fantastic. We've had a lot of uh, big PRs, um, you know, with our sprinters, so um, really we're, we're trying to just fill out the squad a little bit more and uh, not be so event specific, but, um, you know, kind of round out, have a full team, start working with the jumps, the sprinters, and uh, keep progressing as an overall team. This week, uh, back in action as you travel to Saginaw Valley to take part in the Jets Pizza Invitational. I know you've you've been to this meet here in the past. What, what do you expect out of the competition this week? Uh, you know, coming off last week, we're gonna kind of gonna go back to work. Um, this is this year is a is a two day meet, which normally it's a one. So um, we'll have the opportunity to run our kids on Friday night and then bring them back Saturday to to race them again. So. Um, you know, a couple of a weeks away from a big meet where we always look for qualifiers, um, we're going to put them back to work and, um, you know, try to run them in two, three events and um, really just kind of get back after another training cycle before we try to race and uh, get some quality times in. Certainly a type of meet that uh, prepares you well for the GLIAC championships coming up uh, later in February, a uh, two-day meet uh, down in Finley, Ohio. Yeah. Um, you know, Finley's got a, a great facility, um, again, 200-meter track, so it's a little bit different for us. Um, going in there when we see a lot of 300s throughout our, our uh, schedule. So, um, like I said, we, we tried to get down to Hillsdale early because they do have a 200 track, and that kind of gives us uh, an idea of what we're going to be uh, looking for and what adjustments we need to make between uh, now and then as we're racing on 300s for most of the year. So, um, 
Super excited about the conference meet. Uh, like I said, we have, have a, a ton of kids uh, doing well right now, and we really haven't cut them any slack, so to speak, um, with where we're at in training. So um, hoping that they continually progress throughout the season. How do you handle the training uh, here during the, the winter period? Obviously, uh, you had some, some cold weather outside, made it, made it kind of tough uh, with the slick conditions, but uh, starting to warm up here uh, for late January. Yeah, um, you know, the weather's always a factor. Um, that, that's hit or miss, um, you know, because it's been pretty good through December um, and most of January, like you said, other than a few slick days, it's, it's great because the roads were fairly clear. Um, you know, we're able to get on the track right now. That's cleared off. So um, that's always a boost for our team when the weather's good and, you know, we're not going out and, you know, 15, 20 degrees trying to get stuff done. Um, it makes it a little bit more enjoyable and, and uh, you know, allows us to push our bodies a little bit harder because the temperatures are warmer. So um, definitely been a big up for us this month and, and uh, the end of December. So. I know you're obviously uh, right in the middle of the indoor season, but as you look toward the outdoor season, uh, what will be some of the, the highlight meets uh, that you'll take part in in the outdoor season? Uh, yeah, we went to um, Bellarmine last year. We're looking to possibly go there again this year in Kentucky. Um, Michigan State University usually has a pretty solid meet. Um, great competition, all divisions. Um, those will probably be two of the bigger ones, as well as the uh, Hillsdale Gina relays. Um, that's usually a week or two before our conference meet, so that uh, kind of gives us a pretty good idea of where our kids are at. Um, within two weeks of you know our conference championship, so we always use that as kind of a, a meter of um, you know adjustments and um, what we need to do over the next two weeks to be prepared to compete in the conference. So, as you go through the the rest of the indoor season here, what, what are some goals uh, team wise uh, for both the men and women's teams as you get ready for the the conference championship and obviously uh, trying to get as many qualifiers as you can for the national championships? Yeah, um, you know. We're, we're trying to run as many kids as possible, so, um, you know, we, we like to fill out every event. Like I said, um, you know, whether it's sprinters, jumpers, um, you know, our, our goal is always to, to place in the top eight, score as many points as, as possible, um, you know, and, and be on the top half of the conference team-wise. So um, anytime we can do that, I, I'd say, you know, that's successful for us. Um, and like I said, with our, with our kids where they're at right now, um, we're progressing in a good way. And... Um, we're, we're really excited that uh, we're going to have a lot of, of kids score points at our conference meet in February. So um, if they keep, keep their heads down and keep working, um, we're going to have a, a very, very successful indoor season that will kind of springboard us into outdoors. So. I know I haven't had a chance to ask you this before, but uh, obviously a few seasons into your tenure here at Ferris State, what, what's it been like being a, an alum coming back to, to lead the Bulldog program? Uh, it's fantastic. Um, you know, having the opportunity to, to run here a few years back, um, and, and seeing all the changes and improvements um, that have happened to this campus um, and, and just, you know, how things have gotten so much better from, you know, academics to athletics it has been fantastic. And being able to watch um, kids grow academically, athletically in their, in their time here um, is just a pleasure. So it's, um, you know, this campus is, is just uh, great for our athletes. Uh, it's a great community and, um, you know, it, it's, it's a fun place to work and uh, has been fantastic so far. So. Well, Jared, thanks for being with us. Best of luck to the Bulldogs as you continue the indoor season. Thanks, Rob. We'll be back with more Ferris Sports Update right after this.